Hey boys and girls, in today's video, we are going to look at how we use a tablet to create a Google slide. So the first thing that you must have is your Google slides downloaded to your device. If you don't have it on your device, all you have to do is go to Google Play Store, type in Google slides and download. All right. So let's get straight into it now. So I'm going to click on my slides here to open. And when you have opened Google Slide, make sure to click at the top here just to check to see which email is using it. All right. So you need to be mindful of the email that is accessing your Google Slide. Now, once everything is good, you are going to look at the bottom here where we have the plus sign and you're going to click on that plus sign to open a new slide. You can choose from template or you can choose new presentation. So I'm going to go ahead and select new presentation. Now, once I've selected that, what will open is a new slide, a new Google slide presentation. So let's go through at the top for a little bit. So you'll notice here at the top that it says Untitled Presentation. So you're going to just click on there just to change the name of the slide to make it more personalized. All right. So I'm going to write uh, my name, Kadon Slides, just to personalize it. Then I click the OK and right away your title will pop up there. Now this first button here is the undo button. We have the redo button. We have the play button where you can play your Google slide. And this icon is where you can share somebody on your slide. So if I click on it, it will give me the option to add somebody's email right here. All right. So once I add an email there, I just click OK once I'm finished and it will be shared to whoever I shared it to. So we have the plus sign here. If I click on it, this gives you the option to add a text. You can add an image, a shape, a table or a line, even a comment. So you can add any of those things once you click on the plus sign. And over here now to the right hand corner, you have three dots. When you click on it, there are some options there you can play around with it. All right, so you can also share this slide to somebody from here. So if I click on share and export, there it gives me the option to also share again. Or if I want to send the link of it, I can do these things. All right, so let's get into how we actually created the slide now. At the bottom of the screen, you'll notice that there's number one below a slide so if i want to add an additional slide over here to the right hand corner at the bottom of the screen i'm going to click on that it has a little plus sign when i click on it it gives me the option to select how i want the slide to, to look so i'm going to select this title and body you can select anything you want and it has changed to number two do the same thing again to get another slide this time i'm selecting you know two slides and a column it and each time you add a slide, it counts at the bottom. So it tells you how many slides are in your presentation. Now, I have three slides in my presentation. So if I want to go back to number one, all I do is click on number one and it takes me right back there. Now, this first slide, we can use it as our introduction slide or introductory slides. I'm going to click on it. It says double tap to add a title. When I double tap, it gives me the option to write so i'm just going to write something i'm typing in my glossary that's the name of my slide up here at the top i have the option of changing how i want the letters to look so let's change it to this one we're going to highlight it highlight all of it and then it gives me the option to change it. So I'm going to change, select this one. There it has changed. I'm going to select another one. Mm, let's go to Cosmic Scan. And if I choose to call it Cosmic Scan, it looks like this. 
with it still highlighted i can also change the size of it so it's now at size 52 i'm going to put it to 72 and it gets a little bigger if i put it to 96 it gets very big i can choose to put it in bold if i want i can choose italic if i want but i don't want that one i can choose to underline it and i can also choose to change the color of it so let's say i want to use a yellow i want it in yellow there it is it has changed if i want to select i'm not liking the yellow again i want to do orange i selected orange and i can also highlight it as well all right i'm going to hide highlight it in a blue color so there it is it's in orange it's written in orange and in a blue color now what if i want to add something to it so i'm going to click on the plus sign here i want to add an image now you could go ahead before and download the images that you want to use because you only have the options to choose from photo or from camera so when you download an image from before it will be in your photos gallery so I'm going to select from my photos and I just search for the picture I want. I have a picture of a book of some books and that's what I want to go on my slide. Now you notice this is covering my title there, my glossary is covering it. So I want it to go below. So all I'm going to do is to pull on it to resize it and make it smaller pull on it and then I can move it around anywhere on the page that I like. So I'm going to put it right here in the center. Right there in the center. All right. And then now I want my name. I want my name to be added on the document to say that it's mine. Just to show that it's mine. Right. Let's move it. Move this down a little bit. All right. I made it smaller. So okay, done. That's the name of that's my name. So I have my name there, and I hold it to move down the bottom. So that's my first slide. All right. Now I can go to the second slide now, and I can start adding whatever it is that I want to add. So since my slide is called my glossary, I'm going to make a glossary so I would be adding words and their meaning. All right. So I, I just again, I double tap so that I can get the option to write. Let's say I write the word dog. Right. And then I'm going to type what is a dog. I'm going to type the meaning of dog and animal. That's the meaning. I can click enter to go down to write another word. Cat. So this is my glossary that I'm creating. Right? Uh, I'm writing the definition. A furry animal. And I can continue like this, doing whatever it is that I want to do. I can go to slide three and I can also add any, um, words and meaning to it again. So whatever it is that I want, I double tap it to start typing on it, girl, write the meaning of girl, then I'm writing another word, boy, write the meaning of it. Remember, you can also change, if it is too small for you, you can change the size of the, the, size of the word. Just make sure it is highlighted, as I said before, click on the number and change the size of it. If I don't want it to be looking like that, I can change the font as well and give it whatever font I want, whatever size I want, whatever color I want. And of course, if I want to add any, any images or anything like that, I can do that. Now that my slide is finished, I want to share it. So I'm going to click on the icon again to add an email and so I am adding an email in there once that is done all I will do is click the, the icon at the bottom here to press send and there person added so the person is shared to my slide all right thank you for watching this video if you have any 
questions that you would like to ask and you're not too certain about something make sure to, to comment down below what your questions are and i will answer them as best as possible all right guys thank you for watching bye